What's up, Anbach Minds? Andrew back here. Just uh, just had chess tonight. It's pretty good. Got my uh, got my sweet potato. Mmm, fucking delicious. Ten sixteen right now. You might be asking yourself, why are you eating carbs? Ten sixteen at night. Cause I don't really give a fuck. Whatever. If I gain a little fat, which I won't, I'll just burn it off when I cut anyway. Ain't no thing. So, worked out tonight uh, instead of the morning. It was a little bit different. Hit chest. Mm. The workout was uh, was uh, pretty good. Took my tester tropin about, or took three caps, about uh, like an hour. A little bit more than an hour before the workout. Pretty good. Had some dried fruit before. Pre-workout. It was nice. Gave me some energy. Uh, went to the gym, did chest. Uh, kind of just dicked around tonight. Not in the sense like faggots dick around, like bodybuilders dicking around. So I'm still like lifting heavy shit and stuff, but kind of shocked the body today. So what we did was started out with flat press. Uh, just one warm-up set today. Did 135, like seven reps, and then uh, bumped it up to 225 and uh, the double plater. Banged that out for you know five reps. Felt really good. Felt really, really strong. Probably the strongest I've ever felt doing 225. Really solid foundation, and uh, was able to get it up pretty easily. And then uh, I tried doing 265, and I uh, failed. So I was pretty pissed about that. But um, did a couple more sets. Uh, 235, and then back down to 225. And then uh, we went over to the power rack. If you guys don't know what a power rack is, then I'm sorry to break it to you, but your gym probably sucks. <clears throat> but uh, we did the power rack and uh, set up the bars to work on the upper part of the flat bench. So we set the bars up, you know, pretty high and uh, just worked on the upper part. And that was pretty good. That was really strong. I was able to lift up 405. It was only like a couple inches, but it's pretty crazy. It definitely shocked my body, uh, shocked my traps, my my shoulders especially. Uh, it was pretty pretty awesome. And then uh, just pretty much shocked my uh, my flat press pretty heavily. And uh, start with that. Yeah, I started with that. Yeah. I had to get all the uh, all the good stuff out. First. All right, so. Let me adjust this. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, there we go. Now we're in business. So, whoa. Table moves. Table's a piece of shit. It's all right, though. So, they pretty much shocked the body. Did, um, did this new movement. Just with the bar uh, on flat bench. And just accelerating it up as quickly as possible. Hit like this, it's like deep, deep muscle fiber in my in my pec, in both my pecs actually, and uh, really burned myself out. It was uh, it was a good feeling now. It was nice. Testotropin definitely helped out, especially with the strength of 225. I'll uh, I'll leave that for testotropin. That was, that was good. V2 was kicking it up. But uh, with that shit out of the way, let's talk about the fucking snowstorm and how it's bullshit. So, apparently in Binghamton, you can't park. You have to park on different sides of the fucking street uh, on different days. So when the calendar is an odd day, or an even day, let's take for example, like yesterday, or today, December 6th, um, you're supposed to park on the even side of the street. I don't know what the fucking even side of the street is. Are the, the street's numbered now? I don't know. Turns out... <laughs> <laughs> it turns out uh, the even side of the street, what they're trying to say, is where the even number of houses are. So we, of course, me and pretty much everyone in my apartment building, parked on the wrong side of the street because it's closer to our apartment, and we all got ticketed. And it's bullshit. It's a $35 fine. Really? Come on. 35 bucks? That could be going towards Jamie Eason blow up doll. I mean, seriously. <laughs> Which, by the way, you, you three guys, holes, <laughs> three hole minimum, <laughs> minimum. 
Three holes. <laughs> this guy's just trying to park at me. You see? I gotta, I gotta turn this around. Check this guy out. I don't know if you guys can see this. This guy's having some difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> And this guy over here, he doesn't know what the fuck's going on. He's like, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> the guy is just trying to get up this hill. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh. I don't know what this guy's doing. But he almost just got into an accident. And I kind of want to see this guy go up and fail again. He's, he's hitting the gas now. <laughs> he just can't make it up. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying so hard. I, I hope you guys can see this, because otherwise I just look like a dick. Can you guys see? Yeah, you guys can see this. This guy's just failing right now. And now he's just like, well, fuck that. I'm just going to park on the wrong side of the street and get ticketed. Wow, that was, that was pretty fucking hilarious. Back to three holes. Yeah, so back to three holes. Jamie Eason Blow Up Doll needs three holes. Um, minimum of three holes. Uh, that was a little tangent there, I'm sorry. But, um... We got six minutes? Yeah, we got six minutes. <laughs> what else can we bullshit about? I don't know. It was snowing today, though. I don't like the snow. Also, my room... I'll, I'll, I'll rage about this for a little bit. The heater in my room is from, like, the 17th century. <laughs> So, um, can't control it at all. And, uh, the thermometer is located on the second floor. We're on the first floor. It's located on the second floor of our apartment building. And we don't have any control over that either. So whenever their apartment gets too cold, they can adjust it. And, uh, the heat in the entire building turns on. Since we're right above the water heater, guess who gets the hot water first? These faggots! That's us, by the way. I just refer to myself as faggot, yes. Come at me, bro. Anyway, my heater is probably the shittiest heater uh, in our apartment. And <laughs> that guy just failed again. He, he came back and he tried again and it just didn't work out for him. But uh, my heater is the biggest piece of shit. And it actually spits boiling hot water out. And um, my room can get up to like 90 degrees. And it's like a sauna. So some days, you know, I'll wake up and it'll be... 50 degrees in my room. Other days I'll wake up and it'll be 90 degrees in my room. Today it was like a 90 degree. But uh, thankfully it doesn't doesn't stay on for that long, so that's that's good. Anything else? I don't care about heating. Yeah, I don't know, yeah. Room, the uh, landlord doesn't care. I mean, he paid for it. If I was paying for it, I'd be no, like... The viewers. Yeah, the viewers don't care about money. They care about the game from Testotropin. I know what you want. Hang on. It's coming, baby. It's coming. Little Johnny Jackson reference for you guys. I know that Zancy video. But, um. You tell him that you didn't have any strength gains yet? <laughs> Bro, come on. I had mad strength gains. How's Build XS going? I don't want to talk about it. Why? Wow, because it tastes like shit or you don't get anything from it. <laughs> this could train chest two days in a row. <laughs> Not two days in a row. Twice in the same day. Are you serious? I don't know. It's called shocking the muscle. It's called shocking the muscle. It's called being a fucking idiot. You know Kevin Lebroni? Shocking the muscle, baby. I recommend if you've never seen the Lebroni report, the Lebroni report, go on thelebroniReport.com. TLR. AKA the TLR. TLR. <laughs> that was pretty sweet. But go on there, check it out. Kevin's got some good stuff. Don't go on the forum though, because the forum fucking sucks. We put up. We put up. I don't know how many of you guys know about the NFL Combine Challenge, but we we did a video of, of the 225 bench press for the Good Combine video. Challenge, for the Combine Challenge, and uh, it's an awesome video. I took like an hour editing it, which is a long time for me because I'm freaking baller at editing. Well, it took a while to edit it, and it has like how many views? There's a lot of views. Yeah, it's got I views, but no one comments on it. No one comments. One one guy commented, and he was Where's like, "Where's the motivation?" He's Not like, there. "That's cool." That's cool. Everyone else is posting pictures of their, like, 240-pound, 50% body fat asses. And, <laughs> and they get a little fucking fat! They get a little fucking fat! This is 
<laughs> this is my, this is gonna be my, my last point. My, <laughs> this is my last point. The guy who Lebroni's training, this fucking Andy character. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I went there. I'm going there right now. This guy is just such a fucking prick. I cannot stand him at all. Ah! <laughs> and Kevin, on the. <laughs> <laughs> the goal, the goal was to get this guy shredded. It was like six weeks, which is it's tough for us to get shredded. In, we can't even get shredded in six weeks. This guy's got to go from like twenty percent body fat down to shredded status, single digits, and and he's just he's a he's a prick. I mean, he's probably a nice guy. I don't really know him. I just know that he doesn't know jack shit about diet. Kevin Lebroni. He, he laid out the diet plan for him, right? Laid it out for him. And then he said, what, did, what was it? It was about the fish. Kevin said, you have to eat fish for this meal. And he's like, oh, I don't know about the fish. <laughs> <laughs> he's got this accent. I, I, I can't do it justice. It's a, it's a lot worse than that. But he's like, I, I, I don't know if I can do fish, Kevin. And Kevin's like, listen, I could, I could see in his eye. He wanted to be like, listen, faggot, just eat the fucking fish. You're going to get shredded. Otherwise, I look like a prick. I'm pretty sure. How many weeks is he? He's got to be like four weeks in by now. No, he's done. Oh, he's done. Yeah, Antoine competed. They did at the same time. Oh, yeah. So I haven't. Even, I haven't seen pictures of Andy. Check out the TLR. Antoine. And uh, <laughs> Antoine. Check check out the TLR. Time out. <laughs> uh, there, there's some good videos on there, but um, that's what I'm gonna leave you tonight. That's it. It's Andrew, Resistance 1, signing out. Peace!